What is going on, you guys? I am back with another review, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes, Prime Master, Micronus Prime, and Cloud Burst Decoy Armor. Um, I do have the packaging, I just don't remember where I put it. So, here is Cloud Burst, and here is Micronus Prime. Like I said in the whole video, I got two Micronus Primes. Also, some for some reason, there was a Dinobot sword in here. I, I, I don't know. Um, the Pretender armor can hold it. Kind of, sort of. So let's cover the Prime first before anything else. And we're only going to be taking a look at one Micronus Prime. So here is Micronus Prime. And you can see he is based on a Titan's Return Headmaster. So let me just grab my Headmaster, or one of my Headmasters. Here he is with a uh, Blowpipe, Trigger Happies. Headmaster. So, he's pretty much a Titan's Return Headmaster mold. The only difference being, instead of a screw in the belly button, there's a uh, rivet pin. So, if you want to modify this, good luck doing it. So, let's get you out of here. Articulation. Head is on a ball joint. Arms are on a ball joint. And legs are on dual pins. So, Let's put him in prime mode. Fold him down, just like a head. And here he is in his prime mode with the symbol of Micronus Prime. Now, you can plug this in into a wide array of things. You can plug this into your combiner. For a power, or you can plug this into your Power of the Primes combiner. Uh, chest, hand, or feet accessories. You can plug this into a Titan's Return Deluxe, or Titan's Return figure, as a Headmaster. Let me do that right now. Here he is, as a head on. Trigger Happy, that looks really weird. Or, you can interact them with the Prime Armor, or the Decoy Armor. Now, how this works is, you open it up, or open the figure back up, open up this clamshell, and you lay him in there, close it up, and now this is Cloudburst, one of the Autobot pretenders from uh, Super God Master Force. The original uh, pretenders were Cloudburst, uh, Vector, or Metal Hawk, and, um, what's the other guy's name? Landmine. <clears throat> and Landmine. Those were the three Autobot, uh, pretenders, which were Transformers that can look like humans. Or humans that can turn into Transformers. I don't remember. The concept is weird. Now, this can also be a weapon. So what you want to do, actually before we cover that, you can take this off. There's a 2 millimeter or 3 millimeter peg. And your character, your Prime Master Decoy Armor Dude can shoot. But I don't like doing that because I don't want to stress the pegs out. So we attach this back up here. Now you can flip this down and flip this handle down. Now you have a gun. Now here's the benefit of having two. You can leave your one in there and use the other one. Now, um, there are two Titan Master, Prime Master pegs right there that will plug into the feet. And there's a cavity right there for the head of the Prime. And there, now you have a gun powered by Micronus Prime. What which is a what is really cool is you pretty much have 
a Titan Master, a Pretender, and a Target Master all in one. Now, let's see how this works with certain figures. Here he is with Titans Return, Bumblebee, and B does not like holding on to nothing, and B just took the peg off. Wow, Bumblebee. Really? Ah, darn you, Bumblebee. Okay. B does not like holding on to weapons, so... I think what I'll do... Is, uh... I'll just put it in Trigger Happy's hand, so... You guys can see what it's... Like... And this will work for Trigger Happy because this is kind of Trigger Happy's gimmick. He's a target master. There he is, wielding um, my Cronus. You guys want to see some other target master dudes holding him? Hold on. Trigger Happy just fainted. Like, no one else can wield target masters. I'll bring in my three Autobot Target Masters. Hot Rod, Cup, and Blur. And Blur just passed out, too. Okay. So, take this out of Blur's hands. Let's put the camera up. Put it in the hand of Blur. Right, this is the hand that can't hold it. So, let's put it in his other hand. Okay, this better stop doing that. I'm being for real. This ain't funny. Put this in your hand. Okay, there's Blur holding uh, Micronus as a target master. Which actually don't look that bad. Uh, let's do Cup. Yeah, Cup actually... I think this fits Cup the most. Like, it looks kind of cool in his hand. Now, unfortunately, due to how his hands work, Hot Rod cannot hold... I mean, he can, but he has to, he doesn't sit in there super securely. I have to kind of move his hand out a little for him to even grip it. And then he, the gun droops in his hand. So, yeah. Oh, and just because there's Hot Rod Micronus. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Mm. Okay. And it is kind of cross compatible. You can put a headmaster in the gun. Can you put it in the prime armor? The decoy armor? I don't think so. Just due to how. The back is designed. How much space is on here? Well, let's find out. Let's see if Hot Rod can fit in here. Hot Rod can fit in here. Cool. Hot Rod can sit in the decoy armor. Now the only problem is if I can get him out. Eh. Eh. Get out. Hot Rod! Pop that off. Hot Rod! Hot Rod! Release! Okay. There. Alright. Give me that. Give me my Prime. Let's put you back in your decoy armor. There. And again. 
Headmaster to Prime Master. Slip this peg back. But, um, yeah, that's really it. Not much to say with these things. Um, oh, the sword. Right. Um, there. Bumblebee. Stand, bro. There. Bumblebee's got a weapon to hold. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's really it for this. There's not a lot to it, but there's a lot to be done with it. So that is the review of the Transformers, Power of the Primes, Prime Master, Micronus Prime, and Cloudburst Decoy Armor. If you guys did like this review, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos as soon as I, or I will be doing more Prime, Prime Master reviews once I buy some more Prime Masters. So I will see you guys later. Peace.